Hey, welcome to Noise Pollution. It's your favourite person in the whole world, Robert Vibrations. Where am I? There I am. Hi. You've heard of Brat Summer. It's time for Pratt Fall. Probably should have fallen over there because that would have completed the thing. Welcome to my welcome to Noise Pollution HQ. I'm joined here by the wonderful and effervescent Connie Dog. Let's see if I can get a close up of her there, sleeping wonderful. How nice is she? Uh, she looks great. She's uh, she's very healthy. Uh, I was just going to. I've got a few got a few vids in that that I need to uh, delete off. So I need to basically just uh, show you what I've been up to. I've got to delete a few files and that. Hopefully you'll in hopefully yeah, maybe take some time to delete some of your own files. Um enjoy that. The first yeah, this um this was when I've yeah, I've done I've, I've basically hung out, not hung out, kind of hung out adjacent with two of my favorite bands ever. This uh this brat summer. Um I hung out with a band called Lady Tron, who who um, I was asked to come and do monitors for at Bristol Pride. Would you like to see some? Here we go. Well, let me see if I can show you successfully. Oh, here we go. This is uh, Bristol Pride. Very cool festival. So we were we were on um, af before uh, after uh, a performer called uh, Georgia, who my mate Mario was doing front of house for, and we played after Georgia and Claire from Steps. Slow down. So with these things, you have to sort of schmooze around a bit. You have to hang around. We had a twenty minute changeover after Georgia. Warming it up nicely. G E O R G I A. And there's my mate Mario with his finger to his temple, looking very, uh, very, f very in the zone. If you could. And then we were on. But we had a bit of a celeb in the audience. Um, the recently recovered Big Jeff from Bristol, the music uh, empresario, well, empresario, aficionado enthusiast. He, I met him at a show quite recently, a couple of years ago, with when I was on tour with Barty Strange. But here he is, looking fairly fully recovered, rocking out to Ladytron, the band I'm doing Monas for. Monies. Let me show you quickly. Let me see if I can show you a bit of Big Jeff's. Uh, Artwork here. Just uh, go and check out his art, and his areas recovered. He was on the, recovered from a fire in his gaff. I spoke to him about it. Pretty nice to see he's on the men there. But anyway, go and check out Big Jeff Bristol. Big Jeff John's art. He's doing some cool stuff. Um, got a nice, nice blurb about art and stuff. Well, then Jeff. Um, Ian, and then yeah, the Lady Tron show looked good. There's a uh, Stanner on get on uh, Tech World there. Yeah. What a crowd. And then we ended up hanging out with some of Hannah's uh, relatives, her cousin, Emily, for the Human League. One of my favourite bands ever, the Human League. One of my earliest memories of ever hearing music. Very nice, very cool, very wonderful. Um, so that's that. That was the first. That's the first big, big show that I did earlier on in the, it was August time. Uh, obviously, I've been doing the bingo and loving it. Uh, Bongo's bingo, go and check it out. But here, so last couple of Sundays ago, I got to work with one of my, my, my one of my other favourite bands. It was a uh, ruddy crowded house in the ruddy cavern, double ruddy. Fucking vibes galore, galore down there. Calor. Vibe calorific vibes. Um let me see if I can let me see if I can show you this uh video of crowd, some crowded house stuff. Yeah. Um oh, what's that doing? Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm just you know, shedding light. Lighting lead in shite on uh Oh, let me see. If, here we go. So here is a uh, crowded house in the ruddy cavern. 350 cap. 
I think, uh, yeah, what well, my my friend Parksy, shout out Parksy, when I was growing up, Parksy's band that I was in, his dad had a, like a wall of CDs, uh, Chris Parks, uh, and he um, would only let us really listen to to Squeeze and Crowded House. He said, that's all you really need. And maybe he wasn't, maybe, at the time, I was looking at the Led Zeppelin CDs, I was thinking, uh, Maybe he's wrong, but now I feel like he's right. Check out, here's a bit of Crowded House. I didn't want to be like a phone gimp. I didn't want to be like phoning them too much. I was trying to play it cool, so I did a bit of sporadic vid- videography. Big up uh, Ke- uh, Kerry, their uh, front of house. I didn't fully get to ingra- fully ingratiate myself with the whole crew. It was, a f- it was a lovely day. I tried to be as breezy as I could um, just to get, you know, they're obviously, they're, they're, they're on a huge run doing all kinds of arenas and stuff in the UK, finishing up in Brizzo in uh, Australia. What a larynx. What a bunch of larynxes. These uh, these chaps here, just ooh, proof, if you ever needed any more, that singing keeps you, uh, keeps you vital. And then here's the band. I enjoyed, uh, yeah, very much enjoyed the day. So I'm going to be tucked, for the actual show, I'm tucked away, as you can see, by the bass player, Nick, there, there's a, uh, I'm tucked away behind that speaker stack, uh, helping help help Antho, the wonderful monitor engineer. So it's nice to see crowded, crowded house in a relatively empty room there. It's kind of a, uh, what's the word, anachronistic. And then here I am, there's the set, Cavern, probably the biggest show they've done since Macca. Nice to be, nice to be involved. I basically uh, text messaged Ricky, the production manager, was like, can I get my, uh, my Hannah and her parents in? Because they were up for the weekend. And he said, no, sorry, Rob, it's Ramo. No, was fair enough. We know each other well enough for me not to, not to be bummed out by that. It's just worth an ass. But then he messaged me the next day saying, Rob, they need, a, they need help with the, the monitor. The monitor engineer needs help. Do you want to come in and do it? So this is super vicar- super uh, synchronistic and super, uh, I wanted to say vicarious, but I don't think that really makes sense. So yeah, I'm in this little tuck shop portal through to... Uh, through to the, the the house. What you'll notice now is we're quite near the bass amp, so you're hearing some of ex- some of that extra bass kind of boom, boom, so the way that it makes the record pop. Very cool. Let it go. I'll be waiting when you call. I think I got a few. I got a few different. Uh, oh, this, this is a nice bit. Very nice. A bit of a sing along. That was nice. It was sort of. I didn't want to be too much on my phone. I wanted to just be a kind of like one of those guys that has to hang you know, the security in like a jeweler's or something. I have to be perspicacious. I have to be aware of what's going on, but I also, you know, have to be present. I can't be too. So it's quite it's quite an interesting line you have to draw. The 
can't win with the mad walls. Real Leslie there. You see the speakers rotating. How nice is that? There's the wonderful Cash, their guitar tech, and Rog, the drum tech. So we went back into Distant Sun there, lovely. By this time it was nice because it's what happens at these kind of club spaces, everyone gets loose. Everyone has, starts getting into it, like I'm in the cabin, there. we've only got a few more songs left. Let's re and you start doing, start doing stuff like that, look at the big smiles on everyone's faces. <laughs> you can hear Bobby giggling. <laughs> The audio is a bit weird because it's on my phone and probably got me thumb over one of the mics, doesn't it? That's what I was doing. That's what my face was. Yeah, it's a powerful weather-changing device that these guys are advocating here. Will that bass go into that F sharp or something? Wow. This. There we go. Big chorus. I think this is where it kind of breaks down. Listen to this. It's how loose and fun they feel. Oh, brilliant. There we go. So that was a couple of nice shows. Uh, oh, wrong way. Yeah, oh, sorry, I've gone pressed the wrong button. Oh, no. Let's go back here. There we go. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for checking it out, for checking this out. Yeah, Crowded House, great. Lady Tron, check out Big Jeff in Bristol. Get some of his artwork, support him, because he's a big music aficionado. Uh, come down to one of... Um, find out a bit more, noise, uh, noisepollution at gmail.com or try and get hold of the number. Try and come down to a show in 100. We're creating a very interesting thing down here. Let me see if I can get a bit... We're creating a very interesting thing down here, um, so please come and join in. Uh, One hundred Seal Street, uh, unless of course it just it could just um, the kibosh could get put put on it at any moment because we're living in such a crazy time. So if in, if at any point in the future there isn't anything happening, then it's not my fault. But uh, at the moment there are things happening, and uh, please get involved. Come and have a come and drink some chad with me uh, in things. So anyway, nice one. Take it easy. Bye.